This brings back memories. Wonder if Tomo is better. I hope he is. My name is Hayato Kawamura. I lived in this area my whole life. When I was a kid, I had a friend who lived in this mansion. His name was Tomo, and he was a year older than me. My father was an air conditioner repairman, and I used to accompany him on his jobs. I met Tomo when I tagged along with my dad to this mansion. I'm Jen, and I'm in fourth grade. What about you? Oh, I'm in fifth grade. So, do you like school? Huh? Oh yeah, it's fun. Do you go to the same school as me? Or do you go to a private school or something? Uh, I don't go to school much. I get sick easily. I have a private tutor to teach me my studies. But I don't have any friends. Hey, we could be friends then. Oh, really? I visited Tomo about three times a week to hang out with him. I would bring comics and snacks. This mansion was only 10 minutes away by bicycle. Tomo, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good today. Hey, this is an interesting story. I've never read anything like it before. That's because all of your books are so difficult. You are so smart. These snacks are so good. Do you want me to go to the Takashi shop with me sometime? It's not far from here. That sounds fun. I'm sure we could sneak out without my parents noticing. Tomo and I spent a lot of time together for about a year and a half. Tomo always wanted to hear stories of what happened at school and the things I did that day. I enjoyed being with Tomo since he could teach me things I didn't know. And he would show me interesting books from overseas. And so... Uh-huh. However, Tomo left for America to get surgery, and we parted ways. This is for you. What's this? It's a wish charm. Whatever you wish, it will come true. It seems like something that means a lot to you. It's okay. I want you to get better, Tomo. You need this more than me right now. Thank you, Hayato. I had so much fun hanging out with you. You were the best friend ever! Tomo and his family moved away that winter, and I haven't seen him since. I hope his surgery went well, and that he's living happily. 17 years later, I turned 28 and took over my father's company. I work as an air conditioner repairman. I got married to a wonderful woman two years ago. She used to work in my company's office. She's changed a little since we got married, but... She still helps out with the company as much as she can. I want a divorce. I need to get out of here. I'm guessing she wasn't as happy as I'd hoped she'd be. Huh? This is so sudden. It's not sudden at all. I'm sick of this. Why are you making me work? We don't have any money. What's the point of being a CEO's wife if there's no money to spend? What did you expect from a downtown AC repairman? Don't worry. I'll make her happy, even if you couldn't. What? Hey, what are you so unhappy about? You only buy me expensive things a few times a year. And I only get to go to the spa three times a month. I can't stand living in poverty anymore. Mr. Zururi buys me everything I want. And he tells me I wouldn't have to work if I get married to him. Ha! She pretty much explained it all. So I'm hoping you'll sign the divorce papers without making a scene. She seems like a completely different person. Their words hit me hard. I had no idea she'd been cheating on me. I was in shock, but I decided to let her go. My lawyer will contact you. Whatever. I'll pay you whatever you want. But I'm exterminating our contract at this moment. We'll never see each other again. Goodbye forever. Akogi was my biggest client, and my wife was cheating on me with the CEO. She tossed me like a rag doll and skipped off with him. What am I gonna do? What did I do to deserve any of this? 60% of my company's profits came from Mr. Zaruri's company. After my wife left me, I was left hopeless and devastated. No! I don't have time to be whining! 
I have to do something to save my employees. I spent the next few weeks running around the city, desperately searching for new clients. Thankfully, I found some companies who agreed to sign a contract with me. One of them, Kamashiro Denki, is a huge company that runs home appliance stores. Thanks to them, things were starting to look up. However, just when I thought my company wouldn't have to go bankrupt, I know we agreed to sign the contract with your company, but we decided to go with another option. I'm sorry, but the decision has been made. But you promised me you would do everything you could. A different company offered to do the same procedures for half the price your company charges. I knew who was behind all this. Mr. Zerui. He was trying to destroy me through my company. I have to protect the company. I can't waste all the hard work father put into it. We have so many clients that have been with us since my father's generation. I've known them since I was a kid. Oh, that company will be shutting down soon. I exterminated all contracts with Kawamura Repair Services. We'll be handling all procedures from now on. You know, I never liked the guy to start with. He never knew his place. All he had to do was do his job. But he had to state his opinion. Even if nobody was interested. I'm glad we cut them off. Mr. Sudo, don't worry. My company will not disappoint you. We will do better than Kawamura Repair Services. I was still on a search for new clients. I made an appointment at a home improvement center to try and convince them to sign a contract with me. Did my best to get them interested in working with us. However, <sighs> well, that went well. No success. I trudged back to the office to find, Hi there, can I help you? Long time no see, Hayato. How are you? I'm sorry, do I know you? It's me, Tomo. We used to hang out when we were in elementary school. Tomo? You look so different, I didn't recognize you. So your surgery went well? Yep, I'm all better now. I figured you'd be getting off work soon, so I decided to drop by and see if you wanted to go for drinks. I'm glad you stayed in the area. It was pretty easy to find you. Yes, let's go! So, Hayato, how have you been? I've never been to such an expensive place. I almost forgot, Tomo's family is wealthy. Yeah, I guess I'm doing okay. Are you married? I got divorced six months ago. Why? I guess it just didn't work out. Anyways, tell me about you. What do you do now? I wanted to ask you if you would do a job for me. I'll come back next week for an official meeting. I just wanted to catch up with you today. I came back from the States last week. We spent the rest of the night talking. Felt nice to have somebody to talk to since the past six months have been rough on me. Tomo looked healthy. We've both grown older. However, he was still the same Tomo I remember. And it was nice catching up with him. So let me tell you about the job. Okay, do you want me to repair something? Or do you want to install air conditioner? The next week, Tomo came by my office, just as he had promised. Well, it's a large scale job. Here, take my car. What? Sakai Holmes? W wait Sakai Homes? It's the biggest home improvement store in Japan! My grandfather is the chairperson of the board. My father is the president of the company. I'm searching for someone who could install air conditioners and do regular checkups on them. I knew he was rich, but I was not expecting this! So, I was hoping we could sign a contract that makes you our exclusive repair company. I just came back to Japan, and after some investigations, I found some problems with the company we signed a contract with. They haven't been doing a proper job. Of course! I'd be honored to! I want you to take care of all air conditioning issues in this area. Mainly installments, repairs, and maintenance. You can bring in a subcontracting company if it's too much work for your employees. I never expected to be so lucky. Tomo just saved my life. You have no idea what this means to me. My main client exterminated the contract six months ago. I've desperately been trying to protect the 10 employees that have worked for us since my father's generation. I know. Akogi has been in charge of the air conditioners at Sakai Homes for a while now. I heard the CEO married your ex-wife. Ever since he exterminated the contract six months ago, his company has been trying to handle all the work. But there have been so many complaints and refunds. 
So you came to see me knowing all of this? Well, I just wanted to see you when I got back to Japan. But I heard rumors about what happened, so I did a little research. Akogi won't last long, seeing how they work. They'll eventually lose all of their clients. Their profits come from the difference between the prices they charge the customers against the prices they pay the subcontractors. They cut you off, but nobody else will help them since their prices are too low. The prices were low, but I didn't have much of a problem with it since our employees are talented, and we didn't have to spend much time on each job. Tomo told me I would be receiving more jobs. A week later, an employee from Kamashiro Denki, the company that had called to cancel the contract, came to visit me. Please accept my sincerest apologies. Is it too late to ask you to make a contract with our company? Akogi's services are unacceptable. We've been getting so many complaints and requests for repairs. It's costing us more to pay for repair fees, and our company's reputation is going down the drain. I see. I would be glad to help you out, sir. Thanks to Tomo, we have three times more employees than before. The company has been rapidly growing, and business has never been better. Hey, do you remember this? It's the wish charm you gave to me. Of course I do. I can't believe you still have it. You know, that's not a real wish charm. What? You were leaving so fast, I wanted to give you something to give you hope. But I couldn't think of anything else. What is it then? I found it on my way home from school. It's probably just some glass. The chance of my surgery succeeding was 30%. I held this the whole time and prayed to it. I spent my entire life vowing to myself I would somehow repay you someday. <laughs> Man, you're gullible. It's my turn to repay you now. I promise I won't let you down. I guess it doesn't matter since my wish did come true. Six months later, I heard through the grapevine that Akogi had to shut down their business. Uh, Hayato, Mr. Zuri's company went bankrupt. I know. So what do you want? You can't just barge in here. Oh, um, I'm thinking of getting a divorce. And I realized I still love you, Hayato. Are you getting back together? What? <laughs> Not in this lifetime. Wait, Mr. Zuri tricked me. He fooled me into believing I could live a better life. My ex-wife was modest and honest before I married her. It was hard to see how much she had changed. Maybe she didn't even realize her true colors until she married me. Hayato and I are going on a double date now. Huh? Hey, guys. Oh, is that the best friend you were talking about, Tomo? He's so handsome. Uh-huh. His company is doing well these days. He's the most caring and thoughtful guy I've met. Oh, uh, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Okay, let's get going. Uh, uh, Hayato, wait. I thought you loved me. Hey! Do you love her? No. I hate her guts, man. I only knew Tomo for a year and a half. I never thought my childhood friend would be the one to save my life. I plan on repaying Tomo for the rest of my life. It's the least I can do. My name is Haruto Yoshizuka. I'm 32, and unfortunately, very single. Sure, I could do that. Yes, I'll get it ready by next Friday. I apologize for the sudden request. Thank you so much. Haruto, hey, listen. Oh, Luca. Just a second. I'm on the phone with a client. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, is that the niece you were talking about? Yes, she's my older sister's daughter. Mr. Yoshizuka, you said you live with your parents and your sister and her daughter, right? Sounds like so much fun. <laughs> it is. I don't see many people since I work at home, so it's nice to have somebody to talk to. <laughs> well, I appreciate you doing this for me. Sure. So, what's up, Luca? Um, well, you know the picture. I told you I drew it at school. I won an award for excellence in the competition. Wow, that's awesome. You won so many since you started elementary school, but I'm not surprised. You're so talented when it comes to painting. <laughs> Haruto, do you think I've gotten better from when I started? Of course I do. You're a painting genius, Luca. My sister's husband, 
who was also Luca's father, passed away from a sickness two years ago. Luca was depressed and holed up until I suggested she try painting. Once she started, she found out she enjoyed it and decided to attend painting lessons. My sister was busy with work, so my mother and I take Luca to her lesson. I'm home. Who's gonna drive me to the painting lessons today? Would you like me to take you? You will? Yay! I wonder if Miss Tachibana will be proud of me for winning an award of excellence at the painting competition. I'm sure she'll be so proud of you. Miss Tachibana always tells you how much she loves your paintings, right? Yep, she does. Speaking of which, what kind of picture are you painting in class? Right now, I'm painting Mom. Oh, but please keep it a secret from her. I want to surprise her after it's finished. I hope she likes it and that it helps her through tough times. My sister and her husband ran a business while he was alive. After he passed away, my sister became the president of the company. She has to handle everything by herself, so she's busy and goes on many business trips. There are times when Luca won't see her mother for over a week, but she still loves her. I know she feels lonely at times, but she never complains and always supports my sister. The rest of the family tries our best to make sure Luca feels fulfilled and happy. Hi, Luca. Great to see you. Hi, Miss Tachibana. Luca's been looking forward to coming here. Excuse me, can you move over? My son is trying to get through. Oh, I apologize. Why are you always here instead of Luca's mother? Does she have no interest in her daughter at all? What? No, that's not why she's not here. Please don't make assumptions like that in front of Luca. A regular mother would never ask her jobless brother to take her daughter to painting lessons and back, you know? Luca, I know your mother is working hard and doing her best. Yep, and Haruto isn't jobless. He works from home. I heard him talking to a client just the other day. Whatever. Not that I care what other families are like. Luca, have fun at your lesson, okay? Don't worry about anything. Okay, thank you. Jeez, give me a break, please. The mothers who all pick on me are jealous that Luca has accomplished so much in the competitions. They want to kick Luca out of the class so their children have a better chance of winning. To be honest, it's frustrating to hear them talk about my family like that, but I know it's a waste of time to talk back to them. However, it wasn't so easy for Luca to let it go. What's this? Luca? Hey, what's this? Why did you throw this away? Mom can't make it to the exhibition. She'll be on a business trip. Did you throw it out because you're angry she can't make it? No, I don't think anybody should come to see my paintings anymore. Can I ask why you feel that way? Even if Mom couldn't come, I always thought it would be fine as long as you or Grandma came to see my paintings. But Yukun and Takun's mother were badmouthing our family when Grandma came the last time. I can't forget how sad Grandma looked. I'm sure she doesn't want to go anymore. Yukun and Takun. They're the mothers that always pick on me. I see. Well, how about I go to the exhibition this time? They always say mean things to you. I don't want you to have to face that. I'll be fine. I don't even remember what they said to me before. Even if they do, I forget everything they say to me after a good night of sleep. Really? Yeah, we shouldn't have to keep it inside ourselves. I like to flush the negativity down my brain toilet. You should try it sometime. Just imagine a toilet flushing down all mean comments in your brain. I don't want a toilet in my brain. Oh, my bad. But it would be a lot if you could come, Haruto. You finished the painting of your mom, right? Let's take a photo of you next to the picture. I'm sure your mother will love seeing that. Okay, let's do that. I want to show mommy. The painting turned out really well. I'm already excited to see it. On the day of the exhibition, Luca and I decided to go inside together. Wow, I am impressed, Luca. Shows how much love you have for your mom and how safe and warm you feel when you're thinking about her. <laughs> you think? Is he being serious? I thought it was a little creepy, like full of hate for her mother. Do you know what I realized? Her paintings always lack color. It's probably the result of how complicated family issues affect a child's brain. I have no idea why her paintings win awards at competitions. Do you think they let her win because of the pity they have for no father? I mean, it's not ethical, but I just can't think of any other reason. 
Okay, that comment is not something I can flush away. My sister is a loving mother. She works hard, as do I. Our family may not be typical, but we have no problem since we all cooperate. Excuse as much? Your sister leaves her daughter behind so she can focus on her own life. And you. Nobody with a proper job has the time to take their niece to painting lessons. Stop it already! My mom is busy because she is working hard so I can have a good life. Just so you know, my uncle is a famous artist, okay? Don't go saying mean things about him. His paintings are the best in the world! Huh? He's an artist? You mean a painter? I respect my uncle so much! He is the best at what he does! You have no right disrespecting him like that! If he's a real painter, make him paint something. He probably can't even draw a dog. Yes, he can! He can draw a dog! Luca... Look at how she's trying to stand up for me! Hey, excuse me, do you have a pen and a piece of paper I can use by any chance? Oh, sure. Here you go. Scribble, scribble! Hey, look! He's so good! Luca, your uncle is so cool! What? Is he really an artist? That can't be true! So, that's why you're so good at painting! You learn by watching your uncle! I'm jealous! Luca, I'm sorry. I know I've been so mean to you. You kun Takun! Hey, mister! Can you show me more of your pictures? Do you have a social media account? Uh, yes, I do. Gosh, you do digital pictures too? Talk about multi-talent! You're in charge of comicalizing novels? Wait, I've read this comic book before! Luca, can we go over to your place sometime? We should draw together! I would love to see some of your uncle's works! Uh, uh, Haruto, is that okay? Yeah, sure! Hey, Mom, you should apologize to them! That's right! We were in the wrong, so we only do apologize for what we did! I'm <laughs> sorry, sorry for, for everything. everything! Luca, I'm glad to see you and your classmates have made up. It was brave of them to apologize to you. Um, Luca's uncle, er, uh, Mr. Yoshizuka, I'm a fan! Can I have your signature? Huh? Oh, you are? Thank you for the support! I'm not just any fan. I'm your biggest fan. I bought a lot of your artwork. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're him! I mean, I've been seeing you every lesson, but you aren't just Luca's uncle. You're... Miss Tachibana, please calm down. After that, Luca's friends started coming to our place often. And I was glad to see it positively affected her. For some reason, Miss Tachibana comes over whenever she has free time, and our house has become more lively. My name is Ayato Idokawa. I'm 30. You might be asking, what are you doing, Ayato? My company is going under. Well, an anime production company that I run with my friend is running out of funds, and I'm sitting here contemplating what to do. I'll... Pay for your salaries by this month. Mr. Ayato, cheer up! Let's restart a company and call it Trickster Shoe. <laughs> I'm gonna be working a part-time job to earn money, so let me know! You guys... We'll be waiting for you. We all love your talents. That's why we're here. I seem to be pretty popular among anime fans, but I'm just not good with my finances can't make that much money working part-time jobs. I can't return the money I owe. My grandma, who raised me, also passed away when my company started to look shady. So, I was pretty low on morale. Hey! You can't take the whole bench to yourself. You need to share it so everyone can use it. Huh? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. She looks like she's in third or fourth grade. Why isn't she in school? What's up? Are you alone? What about your guardian? I can't talk to strangers. She seems to have common sense. It's lunchtime. You should go home. What's going on? Oh, did your mom get mad at you or something? I'm almost tense. 
so I don't do things that would make her upset. If there's something that's bothering you, I'll listen. Huh. I don't talk to suspicious guys. I understand what you're saying, but you're being pretty blunt. I don't want anyone calling the cops, so I guess I'll go. Huh? You're leaving? Yep. I gotta go home. I can talk to you a little more if you want. You should talk to your friends. I just moved, so I don't have any... Then talk to that kid over there. I talked to them before I talked to you, but she can't talk to anyone she doesn't know. Huh. People are pretty strict nowadays, huh? When I was a kid, we always hung out with people that we met at the park, and even went over to each other's houses. <laughs> What's gonna happen if I can't make any friends at school? Oh, it's fine. You'll find friends. Uh, why do you know that? Why do I know? Um, cuz... Can you play with me? This is awkward, but I shouldn't be an old dude playing with some stranger's child, but just a little, okay? Uh, okay, what do you want to do? I'm Haruka, by the way. I'm Ayato. Do you know tricks to shoot, Ayato? Yeah. I love it! <laughs> Everyone at my old school watched it too. I wonder when I can watch more. Oh, she's not a regular girl yet, right? The wolf god is so mean. She should just let him be a human already. God has his reasons, right? What are his reasons? Um... Oh! I have something nice for you. Shoo! It's so cute! It really wasn't worth anything at the pawn shop, but... What? No, I can't do that. Okay, I'll put it on. Ayato, it doesn't look good on you. I'm an old man. Trickster Shoe was one of the biggest hits that I was able to work on. I was upset that I couldn't show anyone the continuation, but I'm sure my piece will live on within her heart. All right, let's transform. The stick actually shines! Wow! It's just like the anime! Hey, can you come play with me tomorrow too? Since you see that I'm a first class witch? Sure. I'm not busy anyway. Yay! This is my favorite anime ever! There's plenty of other anime that's just as good, right? But she never gives up, even when she's cornered. That's why I like it. <laughs> it makes me want to push, too. Well, then you gotta work hard to make friends once you start school. <sighs> I'm nervous, but I'm going to. Great. That's the spirit. I wish I could show her what happens next. Every day, I started playing as a girl witch. After three days passed, I actually started feeling less awkward about playing around. I wish I could use magic like Shu. What would you do with magic? I would rewind to two months ago. What's wrong, Nishimura? You look upset. Sorry. The company is screwed. What? Why? I couldn't move the funds around correctly. I borrowed money and I can't pay for the employee's insurance and salary. I borrowed from a loan that is really low interest, but it's still not working out. The bank will stop all loans the second we can't pay back with interest and our company is dead in the water. I'm so sorry. Why didn't you tell me sooner? We've run this company together. I just wanted you to focus on the production. You could have asked me for help. I don't have your talent. I just wanted to help run the company for you so you could focus on your job. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got a little heated too. I 
probably should have focused more on the company too. It's not just you. I don't think the company is going to go under, so I want to restart. I know it'll be troublesome for you, but I want you to come with me. Don't play around with me. I'm 28 already. I can't wait for marriage any longer. Goodbye. Hey, what episode of Shoot do you want to do next? I'll do any episode. Oh, how about we do episode 7 where you make Shu grow bunny ears from the wolf's curse? Take this! White Rabbit Random Roulette! Hop, hop, hop! Ah, I have ears? You really remember it all, huh? What a great monster rabbit! You were actually watching the whole time? Of course. I wanted to make sure you weren't a dangerous person. I was watching every day. This beautiful woman was watching me every day. I'm so embarrassed. I saw that you were pretending to be a great witch. So much that I would have believed you could be a real witch. He really has some talent, right, sis? Talent for what? To be a girl witch? Thank you for playing with my younger sister. She's been a lot happier at home thanks to you playing with her. Oh, I'm sorry. This old guy is the girl witch. Why did you want to rewind time two months? Well, my company is going under. I don't really have any means to rebuild, so I'm just waiting for it to collapse. The second we make the claim that we can't return the loan, it's done. I'm sure you don't want to hear all this crap, though. My father is a lawyer, so if you're interested, would you like to talk to him? What? But... He's pretty good at what he does. I'll introduce you. It's a thank you for helping out my sister. I heard you took care of my daughters. No, I really didn't do much. Mr. Ayato, please talk about your loans. He was quiet the whole time, but listen to the whole story. It's pretty rough, huh? First, let's work to solve your system's funds loan. The important thing is that we make sure we can pay off the initial lump sum. I'm sorry, but I don't think you're able to make any deals. I'll handle it. You can do that? It's not easy, but I'm a professional. And I'm sure they're going to act like it's extremely tough. But I will try to make it so that they'll return your down payment. So, this might be salvageable. I think the best way to describe it is that your chances are not zero. I don't mind. I want this. I want to make the second season of Trickster Shoe. <gasps> oh, your company was an anime company? I didn't know that. I'm sorry. It's kind of awkward to talk about. Huh. That's why you were pretending to be a girl witch. Please forget about that! What's going on? He wants to write more of Shu. Uh, he made that anime? You have to help him, Dad! Everyone gets so much bravery from Shu. I'll work hard in school, too! Who's right, though? How are you? Congrats on getting your company back! Let's get started on Trickster Shoe Season 2! You're getting ahead of yourselves! We just restarted the company! We've been waiting! I'm glad everyone was able to come back! Right, Nishikawa? We were able to restart this company because Nishimura worked tooth and nail to make it work. I never would have been able to handle it. Yeah, you're not good at anything besides drawing! You two make the perfect combination. That's rude. He's not wrong. I can't thank you enough, Monsieur Shika. Thank you so much. I actually go to law school. I kind of just randomly chose it because my father is a lawyer, but this whole event actually made me sure of my choice. I want to help people out who need helping, just like my father. Will you be our personal lawyer one day? Of course. Just hang on, okay? My name is Haruto Ito. I work for my father's company as an interior decorator, mainly putting up wallpaper. However, my father hasn't been able to work since he hurt his hip last year. I have been taking care of the company in his place. 
I'm back! I heard you needed me for something. What is it? Hey, I need your honko stamp. There we go. You know you don't have to ask me every time you need my honko. You idiot! Your honko is proof that the CEO has checked through everything. We can't just press it for you. You need to read through the paper and press it yourself. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Hey, when are you going to stop putting up wallpapers? You're the CEO now. You should focus on that from now on. You two are so much better at the document stuff. It'll be better for you to do it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I know you're just saying that because you want an excuse to leave the office. Go easy on him. Some of our clients request Haruto to do their wallpaper. And you're great at teaching the young ones how to do it. I guess our older brother is meant to put up wallpapers. That's correct. I can't help it. I was born to do it. I think it would be better for me to keep putting up wallpapers until the day I die. We can't deny that he's the fastest and most precise when it comes to wallpapers. I'm just worried about the company. One of you should be the CEO then. No, no way. way. Too, Too much, much responsibility. responsibility. I've always hoped for one of my younger brothers to take over as the CEO, but neither of them wants to do it. Both of them treasure their freedom. I know they don't want to be swamped by their responsibilities of being the CEO. That's why I have two types of business cards. One for being an interior decorator and one for being the CEO of our company. The next day, I was at a client's house as an interior decorator. Harto, the couple, they're watching us the whole time. Yeah, they're probably worried the interior design won't turn out the way they hope it will. But I've realized they're here a lot. I can't focus with them looking over our backs the whole time. And they're in the way. I understand how you feel. I know it's not the best environment to work in, but we gotta hold it in. Okay. The house we were redecorating at the time belonged to a young married couple. They were brazenly rude, and all the guys working with me felt uncomfortable with them watching over us like hawks. Hey, you. Are you sure you're doing it right? Huh? Oh my gosh, don't cut corners just because you think I'm not watching you. Jeez, do you realize we're paying you for this job? You better do it right. What? Excuse me, ma'am. Is something wrong? Our employees are human, too. I can't blame them for getting angry towards rude clients. However, I couldn't risk this becoming a huge issue since it could have affected our company's future. It's part of my job to keep everyone calm. I wish I had a motivation switch or something. Working for that couple makes me want to quit and do something new. Yeah, I'm trying to clue the pieces of my shattered motivation at the moment. We're halfway through with the job. We don't have to be here for long. Come on, let's get through this. I'll buy you guys some drinks. However, the young couple kept bugging us. The wife came up to me and started complaining about the wallpaper. I don't think this wallpaper goes with the house. Who picked this? It's so ugly I could cry. Ma'am, you picked this out of the catalog. Maybe, but it looks different now. I need you to pick something else. This room is too ugly to live in. <sighs> With all due respect, we finished putting up most of the wallpaper. Stop talking back to me. Take it all off. I want a new design. Wait a second. This isn't as simple as it looks. It takes a lot of work to do it. We won't be able to finish on time if we redo everything. What? Make it work. You can stay late and work overnight, can't you? For God's sake. But I can't lose my cool. It's not just about the deadline. Picking a new wallpaper means we'll need to charge you more. What the? Don't you think it's your fault for not checking with us before putting it up? You're ripping us off with that crap job! Uh, we are the most low-priced interior decorator in the area. You would be charged double at any other interior decorator for making the request you're asking us now. You moron! You think you're gonna rip us off because we don't know anything, huh? Don't act almighty! You're just an employee! I'm not trying anything with you. Gosh, are you sure you want to pick a fight with me? My father's company is in charge of all the materials sold and bought around the area. I could tell him not to sell you any materials anymore. Huh? His father sells materials around here. Oh no, their company is going to go bankrupt. Yeah, and they deserve it. They can't finish any jobs if they don't have the materials. My gosh, shouldn't you call your boss and ask him to apologize to us for you? The thing is, I am the boss. What? 
You're just one of the employees! I'm telling you to call the higher-ups of the company! Our company has several subsidiaries, but I am the CEO of the parent company. You can't be serious! Where's the proof? Show me proof! Well, I can go get my business card from the truck. Yeah, right! I bet you're planning on running off! I promise I will be back. I don't bring my cards when I work. Hey, guys. What's going on? Are you fighting? Hey, Dad! I heard your decorators are almost finished with their job. Is something going on here? Thank God you're here! These guys think we don't know anything! They're trying to rip us off, Dad! Father, they are horrible! I asked them to change the wallpaper because it was uglier than I had thought! And now they're saying it'll take more time and cost more money! Isn't that unfair? Dad, you supply them with materials, right? Tell them you'll stop if they don't listen to us! Come on! That's ridiculous. That's just insane. Right? I am so glad you came at just the right time. I'm sure they'll listen to you. My gosh. I am so glad I got here on time. If I didn't, I wouldn't be able to face them anymore. And the humiliation you two would make me go through. Huh? Miss Arito, please accept my sincerest apologies for all the trouble my son and his wife have put you through. Oh, don't worry about it. Your son told me about his father's work, and I was just wondering who it was. I'm glad I bumped into you here, Mr. Kuji. This is so embarrassing. My son has no interest in what I do, and he has no idea what he's talking about. Not that it excuses everything he's done to you. I feel awful. What? I know about your job, Dad. At least the basics. You moron! Do you realize Mr. Ito is one of our most valued customers? If he doesn't buy materials from us, our company will go bankrupt! What? Seriously? You have no idea what you're talking about! You need to apologize to Mr. Ito and his employees right away! I'm sorry. Now that I've apologized, you won't tell your boss, right? You don't have to change the wallpaper. How about we forget about the past and move on, okay? Jeez, Jeez I, feel I feel so, so bad, bad for him. him. His, his son and his, his daughter, daughter are, the are the biggest, biggest idiots, idiots we've ever met. Mr. Ito doesn't need to tell his boss anything. He is the boss, you idiot. He owns the company. What? No way. You are serious? Does anyone have a staple gun? I'd like to use it to shut my son up. Mr. Coochie, let's all calm down, okay? Or maybe I could apply several coats of varnish so he would stop moving. Save me from more humiliation. Mr. Kuji! Please stop! Just take a breath. I know the dangerous tools! After that, Mr. Kuji interrogated the couple. As it turns out, it wasn't the first time they pulled something like this. There were other victims as well. Mr. Kuji was fuming, and I was scared of what would happen to his son. You need to pay them the full price right away! And I can't let them work for you anymore! Wh why? They haven't finished putting the wallpaper up! Do you not understand how rude you have been to Mr. Ito and his employees? You can do the rest yourselves! That way you might realize the amount of work they put into every job they get! But... It's okay. We're basically DIY professionals! We'll make a better room than any of those men can! I agree! We can redo the whole thing to make it a perfect house for both of us! Yay! The couple reluctantly paid for the work that we did. They decided to do the rest themselves. However, I heard things didn't go as well as they had hoped. They ended up fighting, and the wife left the house. They are living separately at the moment. Again, I am so sorry for everything. You didn't deserve to go through what my son put you through. I'm sorry for not being able to finish the job, sir. No, that's not on you. You've been nothing but calm. My son and his wife do not deserve your service anymore. Please. Tell your employees how sorry I am as well. Everyone at the scene was gushing about how cool you were, Mr. Kuji. Thank you for defending us. I should be the one thanking you. I hope you'll still consider doing business with me. Of course. Mr. Kuji, thanks to your products, our company can provide low price services to customers. Arto is a great CEO. If it were up to me, I would have punched his son and cut all ties with Mr. Kuji. Yeah. He's probably the only one who could take care of a company like Dad did. 
Mr. Kuji's son tried asking other interior decorators to fix his room. However, rumors had already spread. No one was willing to help him. We all work hard to see the smiles on our customers' faces at the end of a project. I plan on providing the best service for our clients until the day I die. My name is Koki Momota. I'm 29 years old. I'm a freelance illustrator working from home. I handle work-related issues by phone or online meetings, so I spend most of my days inside my room, drawing all day. I'm almost finished. Now I just need to do the final retouches and I'll be done for the day. Ko-chan, Dad and Mom have work. They told me to get you. Oh, I didn't realize the time. I'll be right there. Hey, Koki, we'll be leaving for work now. Will you be okay? Thanks for always taking care of Nena. We appreciate it. No problem. I'm here anyway. I enjoy spending time with Nene, so don't worry about me. Nene and I get along well. We're like best friends. I have everything under control. Hey, Kokchan. I want to eat dinner at Rina's place. I love her okonomiyaki. Nene, Koki is tired from working all night. Don't overwork him, okay? <laughs> it's okay. I'd rather eat out than make dinner anyways. Let's go eat okonomiyaki today. Hey, mommy. You have to try Rina's butatama. It's so good. And it's so cute how Ko-chan always watches Rina make the okonomiyaki. He watches her the whole time. Hey, Nene! That is private information I don't want to be leaked. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Okay, guys, you'll be late for work. Go on, then. I live with my parents, my brother, his wife, and their daughter, Nene. The six of us get along well. Nene's parents have busy jobs. They try to make their schedules work so at least one of them would be at home with Nene. But there are times when both of them have to be at the office. It can't be helped. Nene's father, Toru, and Nene's mother, Manami, both work at a department store. They met through work and got married. I know how busy department stores can be. Their schedules are packed. Both their jobs require them to work at night, and that's where I come in. When both Nene's parents are at work, I'm the only one in the house who can take care of her. Thankfully, my job doesn't have fixed hours. I can work freely as long as I meet my deadline. So I have no problem watching over Nene whenever her parents are gone. Kook-chan, I'm finished, look. Great, what did you draw? Let's see. Hmm, I wonder what these eight blobs are. Okay, listen. This is Mommy and Daddy. And this is Grandma and Grandpa. Oh, so they're people. She drew our family. And this is Ko-chan, and this is me. Wow! I really like the picture. So what's this in this? It's Rina and her butatama. She drew Okonomiyaki. Nene, you really like Rina's okonomiyaki, don't you? All right, I know it's a little early, but you want to head over to her place? Yay! Butatama, butatama, yummy, yummy, butatama. What song is that? I made it! The okonomiyaki song! It's become her obsession. Rina, we're here. Hey, Nana, I missed you. Uh, hi there. It's been a while, or not. I'm glad to see you guys again. Find a seat, I'll bring the menu. Oh my, it's you again, huh? I see you here often. Don't you want to feed your kid homemade food? I don't think we're here that often. We only come twice a month. And that child is my niece. <laughs> so your siblings leave their daughter with you. They're probably eating something nice right now. They're such irresponsible parents. I'd like to see what they look like. My brother and his wife work hard to support the family. They aren't just fooling around while I take care of their daughter. It's none of your business anyways. Please stay out of it. This man is a regular customer here. He always comes alone, and we bump into him often. For some reason, he likes making derogatory comments about Nene and me. What? Can I get you? I want Butatama. <laughs> you love Butatama, don't you? Yep. Uh, only because you make it, Rina. You're so sweet. Nana, we have custard pudding for dessert. It's today's special. Custard pudding? Ko-chan, I want pudding pudding. 
Okay, okay. One comes from pudding and a modan yaki for me, please. Sure, I'll get right on it. Hey, you brought your niece to impress Rita, didn't you? Jeez, how desperate are you? Just ask her out. What? Seeing how you're here this early in the evening, you don't have a job, do you? A jobless loser with a stupid kid? <laughs> I've always known this man has feelings for Rena. Maybe that's why he picks on me. At first, I thought he was just some guy unhappy with his life. I always try to ignore him, but I couldn't take it anymore. I bring my niece here because she likes the okonomiyaki here. I work from home, so I don't have a set schedule for work. What about you? Aren't you supposed to be at work? Plus, I'm not the only one who is desperate. Look at yourself. <sighs> How dare you! Here you go. Hmm? Kamari-san, is something wrong? No, oh, it's nothing. That guy over there was asking me why I was here at such an early hour. He thinks it's weird. <laughs> oh, Kamari-san owns a company, right? Yes, I do! I do! I'm allowed to set up my work schedule because I'm a CEO! Nana, look, I made it into a heart! Wow, a Buddha Tama heart! Look at that, he's glaring at me! It's not my fault she gives you no attention! Thanks for the great meal! Rina, see you soon! I'll look forward to it! Gosh! Rina's okonomiyaki is so much better than what we make at home. It's so fluffy and it fills my heart. I hate seeing that guy, but if that's what it takes to see Rina and eat her okonomiyaki... Mmm, my mouth is watering just from hearing your stories. You guys seem swamped with work. Yeah, we got a lot on our plate. We got this one employee who causes so much trouble. He's the one causing us to stay late. But I think we'll get a day off next week together. Do you guys want to go somewhere? I think Nene will enjoy it. That's a great idea. But after hearing Koki's story, all I could think about is eating okonomiyaki at that Rena girl's place. Okay, fine. We can go eat okonomiyaki then. Yeah, I think Nene will like that too. My brother and his wife's day off. Butatama, butatama. Udarama? She said butatama. I wish father and mother were here with us now. Yeah, but they're always so busy. The whole Momota family only gets together like two days out of the whole year. Arena, look who I brought with me. Hi, sweetie. Aw, you brought your family? I've heard all about your okonomiyaki, Rina-san. Huh? <gasps> Momota-san, the floor manager. Huh? Wait, do you know that guy? Yeah. I know him. Hey, Karami! What are you doing here during work hours? Rabe-san told me you go AWOL all the time and that you're always late for work! So this is what you've been doing while dumping your workload onto the others? Oh, uh... No, this is... I thought I should do some research. You know, to keep up with trends so that I would benefit the... Oh, Kamari-san works at a department store? He told me he owns a company. Owns a company? Oh, so that means he owns a department store? <laughs> oh no, he doesn't! Huh? This man used to work in our sales floor, but he never reported any important incidents to his bosses. We received many complaints about his attitude from the customers. He never treated them with respect. That's why he was moved to work in the back room. However, he hasn't learned from his mistakes. And now he's even started skipping work. Backroom tasks are important too. Karami, if you keep this up, we're gonna fire you for being so useless. Um, well, I just don't feel like going to work, but I will. I was just in a slump, I'll get over it. You can't fire me. I'll be left with nothing. Cut it out. You brought it on yourself. Come on. Oh, that's your daughter? How adorable! She looks just like you, Momota-san! I remember you telling me how irresponsible her parents were and how you would like to see their faces. Stop it! Mommy, Daddy, this man said I look stupid. No, I didn't! You heard me wrong, little girl! Please don't say things like that! 
You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> I see. So you're saying my daughter is a liar now? No, that's not what I meant. So that means you said my daughter looks stupid, huh? N no way. Wait, did I? Oh, no. What am I supposed to say? Hope chan what does look stupid mean? Hmm, you don't need to learn that word yet. There are words I don't need to learn? Why do they exist if I don't need to learn them? I wonder why. Karami-san left the Okonomiyaki shop bawling after getting scolded by my brother and his wife. After that, we all decided to stay and enjoy Rina's exquisite Okonomiyaki. Mmm! Mm. It's so fluffy! Karami-san never came back to Rina's Okonomiyaki shop. I was glad. Now I can enjoy the good food without any interruptions. You guys have become regulars here now. Rina, listen! Did you know that Ko-chan is always staring at you when you're making Okonomiyaki? Hey! Nene, cut it out! Oh my, really? I hope I don't look ugly. Hey, Rina. Why aren't you married to Ko-chan? I want you to make Okonomiyaki for me every day. N nene Shh! Hmm... We can't get married right away. So, what do you think of going on a date with me? Date? What a date! I fell for Rina the moment I met her. And maybe we have mutual feelings. I'm excited to see where this leads to. I'm Ryu Saruyama, 20, and a university student. I have a job interview at a Yakiniku restaurant today. So, you're still a student? Will you be able to balance working and your studies? Of course! I want to work here so I can pay for my tuition. I don't plan on neglecting my schoolwork. I see. It's to pay for your tuition. That's why you want to work so much. Okay. School is the priority, and I want to help you as much as possible. Night shifts have higher pay. Would you be willing to work the night shifts? Of course! And so I started my part-time job. I felt so lucky to be working with such a good-hearted manager as my boss. However, there was just one problematic employee. Hey, can't you see we're busy? Speed it up and get the dishes done. Don't you want to get paid? Do your job. If it's so busy, why won't you help me to do? Don't touch the water saying your hands will get chapped. Hey, Goriyama, what are you pounding at me like that for? You got something to say to me? My name is Saruyama, not Goriyama. What? No. You're a Goriyama. You look just like a gorilla. Oh my gosh. Poor and pathetic gorilla boy. <laughs> Who does she think she is? The manager's daughter, Mitsuru, is 27. She's the part-time leader. She acts all high and mighty. However, she never does any of the work. Everybody is unhappy with her, but none of us can say anything because she's the manager's daughter. Mitsuru needs to stop talking and start working. I hate it when she's here. There's so much more to do because she doesn't move. <sighs> yeah, it's like working with one less staff member. She only moves when some hot guy walks to the door. Even then, all she does is stand by their table to talk about the types of meat we serve. She's always on her phone or fixing her makeup. And I've noticed she picks on you more than anybody else. Are you okay? It doesn't bother me. I'm a tough gorilla boy. Plus, I'm thankful that the manager lets me work so much. I won't let it bother me. How did the manager end up with a daughter like Mitsuru? I feel so bad for him. I let Mitsuru pick on me as much as she wanted to. I ignored it all since it wasn't worth my time. I had better things to do than waste my time on her. One day, my older brother called me. We're only a year apart. I know this is sudden, but can you help me? I need your help out at the male host bar for just one day of the weekend. All the employees are getting sick. We're grasping at straws here. But none of your customers will enjoy talking to a gorilla like me. Rio, you're not a gorilla. You're muscular and wild. The customers will love you. I just need you to sit down by my side. The manager wants you to come since you're my brother. Hmm, fine, just one day. My brother Harto is also a student. He works at a male host bar to pay for his tuition. His friend introduced him to the job. 
but his sweet smile and charm drew the girls in. He was one of the most popular hosts there. Jeez, I still can't believe we were born from the same parents. It's so unfair. Why do I have to look like Dad? You got all your looks from Mom. Huh? I always thought you were the handsome one. I see why you're so popular here. Hey, we promised we would open a restaurant together once we graduate from university. We come from a poor family. We never thought we would attend university. It was a miracle, so we couldn't rely on my mother. But we've had a dream since we were kids. We want to reopen the restaurant our parents used to own. We had to shut it down after he passed away. So we're planning to bring it back. I'm glad Haruto hasn't changed at all, even if he is a host now. I should do my best to ignore people like Mitsuru so we can achieve the goal we set for our future. Oh, Haruto, I missed you. Mitsuru, I'm so glad you came. Wait, what? Mitsuru? Aw, you know I would do anything to see you, Haruto. Hey, it's been two months since I started coming here. Can't we hang out after work? Do you know how much I've spent on you? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm just a poor student. I have work early in the morning, so I gotta get home straight from work so I can get some rest. I'll look after you. You should quit your job. I have the money to support you, please. Is it really Mitsuru? But, yeah, she looks like Mitsuru. Mitsuru had her eyes set on my brother. She didn't even notice me sitting on the same couch. A few days later, I talked to Nobu, a friend of Haruto's. Apparently, Mitsuru comes to the host club three times a week, and she spews out money like a fountain. Nobu is the friend who introduced Haruto to the job and he works at the same host club. She was a host club virgin when she first stepped foot into this place. But she's been here so many times since she laid eyes on Haruto. She uses so much money on him. She must be filthy rich. She told me she was a flight attendant. Whoa, are you okay? She is the daughter of the manager at the Yakiniku restaurant I work at. <coughs> what? You mean the one that picks on you all the time? I was shocked to hear she was pretending to be a flight attendant while she visited my brother at the host club. Even when she was bickering at me, it took everything I had to keep myself from laughing in her face. Yo, Goriyama, are you listening? A week later, the manager called a meeting for all the employees. I always close the cash register after we close, but for the past two months, it seems there's been some money missing. Yesterday, I noticed a bunch of bills missing. Does anyone have any idea of what's going on? Daddy, I'm sure one of the part-time employees took the money. What? I didn't touch the money! Me neither! Well then, it must be Goriyama's doing. We all know his family is poor. He has to work to pay for tuition. He's desperate. I've seen him roaming around the cash register. What? I didn't steal anything. If I want money, I will work for it. I would never take what doesn't belong to me. You can check my belongings if it's necessary. No, I believe you. You would never do such a thing. I've watched you work here, and you're the most loyal employee. I will call the police for an investigation. Could be someone from outside. I'm sorry for doubting you guys. Hey, Daddy, we don't need the police yet. The criminal could come back and apologize. I mean, why not give them a chance? I guess. If anybody knows anything, please let me know. In the meantime, I'm setting up more security cameras around the cash register. The manager never brought up the incident after that, and the money in the cash register mysteriously stopped going missing after the meeting. I swear it's Mitsuru! I've seen her touching the cash register so many times, even if there were no customers. I know. Did you see how desperate she became when the manager mentioned the police? The manager said two months ago, could that be... I talked to my brother about what happened, and he promised to come to the restaurant to see me after work. A few days later, I am so hungry. Can I eat before we talk? I'm so nervous. This is the first time my brother will be serving me. Haruto? Wait, your brother? Huh? Mitsuru, why are you working here? Huh? Uh, tell me it isn't true. You can't be Haruto's little brother. 
You look nothing like him! That's a pretty rude thing to say. You stopped coming to the host club, Mitsuru. Did something happen? You said you're a flight attendant, but you're working here? Are you in trouble or something? Huh? Mitsuru hasn't been there recently. But you said she visits you three times a week. What? How did you know, Goriyama? Mitsuru, you've been going to a host club? I need to talk to you in the back room. Can you guys come with us too? Let me ask you. Has Mitsuru been paying properly at the host club? Well, she promised to pay me later. How much does she owe you? About a million yen. I knew something was going on. Mitsuru, did you take the money from the cash register to pay for the drinks you ordered at the host club? You blamed the part-time employees when I called everybody in for the meeting. You even tried to make Ryo seem suspicious to save yourself. How did that make you feel? Uh... Trust is everything when it comes to running a business. I cannot let this go. As your boss and as your father, I'm calling the police. You did something very wrong. You need to leave and never come back. I do not consider you my daughter anymore. After that, the manager called the police and Mitsuru was arrested. I can't imagine how hard it must have been for him. He told us he would pay for the money Mitsuru owed. He also said it was his last job as a father. Ryo, I am so sorry. The other part-time employees told me the horrible things she did and said to you. I should have realized what was going on. I feel awful. You don't need to apologize. You were the victim here. Um, I owe you an apology too. Mitsuru used a lot of money on spending time with me. Please, it's not your fault. She made her choice. It's her responsibility. You were just doing your job. Mitsuru was gone, and the manager appointed me to be the next part-time leader. All the other part-timers recommended me since I worked the longest hours. I did everything I could to cheer the manager up. He was still in pain from what happened with Mitsuru. Ryo, thank you for everything. You always try to show me the brighter side and it motivates me to keep moving forward. Nanager, sometimes I feel like I screwed up my whole life, failed at raising my daughter. She turned out the way she is because I couldn't teach her the difference between right and wrong. It's all my fault. I know people say children learn from their parents, but every child sees and feels things differently. Children never turn out the way parents hope, and vice versa. It's not your fault. We're all different people with different views. I don't want you to think you failed just because she couldn't see how much you loved her. Please, stop blaming yourself for everything that happened. Ryo, I am so lucky to have you. Thank you. Promise me you'll come to me if you ever need any help, even if it has nothing to do with the job. Well, um, my dream is to open a restaurant after I graduate from university. Can I come to ask you for advice when the time comes? It would mean a lot to me. Of course. I would love to help. Five years after the incident. My brother and I opened our restaurant. The manager helped us pay for the startup fees, so we opened the restaurant earlier than we had planned at the beginning. Our dream came true, and we owe everything to the Yakiniku restaurant manager. Welcome! Welcome! Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.